the weakness in the financial markets has really been remarkable. We've seen uh, banks trading lower as, largely as a result of short selling pressure uh, to the point where they become untenable, where their equity positions go away and they're no longer able to meet their operating and reserve requirements. So what the government wants to do is take the questionable assets that are causing this erosion, that are causing this doubt, consolidate them, encapsulate them, and allow these financial institutions and big investment banks to continue operating, growing their profits, and perhaps grow their way out of these problems. Someone suggested earlier in the week, or maybe it was last week, uh, that Secretary Paulson should be reminded that he's no longer at Goldman Sachs and he really should stop the mergers and acquisitions business as Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, it puts him in a very difficult position because suddenly he's making acquisition and deals with taxpayer dollars. And in fact, uh, companies that took a great deal of risk, these investment banks were leveraged some 30 to 1 or more. Uh, that's a huge amount of leverage. I mean, if you think about putting down, you know, li little or nothing on your house and, and leveraging it 30 times, that would be remarkable. A and very, it would take very little to get you in trouble. That's what's happened with these investment banks. Paulson's plans are keeping them in business with taxpayer dollars. So there's something of a moral hazard at play. If the government steps in right now and addresses only the Wall Street side of the problem, I think you could hear a certain hue and cry from taxpayers and other government officials, perhaps from the other side of the aisle. Senator Schumer's plan suggests that this needs to also extend to people who are in trouble with their mortgages and provide a facility to provide lower cost mortgages to make sure that homeowners don't lose either. It seems like a more balanced plan and more politically palatable.